Hello. Yeah, I've got a question for Daniel. Um, if you was, if you get ill before the fight, you're going to pull out. What's going to happen? No, my dear, you know what? I'm going to do you a favour, because you can't see your son after he's been knocked out. You, you'll spare, spare the heartache. You'll be spared the heartache. Oh, really? Yeah. Need you to be my baby. Need you to be my queen. My daddy, need you to be my king. Need you to be my baby. Need you to be my queen. Need you to be my daddy. Need you to be my king. Hello, guys. Welcome to Boxing Blog Center. And please, if you're new to this channel, make sure you click the like and, of course, the sub. Subscribe button right now and also go to the notification bell icon, click it and select all. So that time I drop a new banger, a new uh, exclusive, you will definitely be notified. Well, it's been uh, a very interesting period. Um, Joshua lost, you know, last weekend, last Saturday, this past weekend, and also, um, I expected Dubois' profile to rise. I expected the way Andrews Jr. profile rose, you know, from having 40,000 followers, not, not, not up to 40,000 followers, you know, by the way, on Instagram. I expected Dubois' profile to go that way. From there to a million, million plus. Somehow, some way, Dubois... Is is like a retrogress, you know. There is like he's not moving, bro. He was at um two fifty two when uh, when it be Joshua. After the Joshua, uh, before Joshua fight, after the Joshua fight, he's at uh, three forty seven now. Still not even clocking five hundred k. So even the likes, bro. The likes after the fight, uh, seven thousand likes i'm not seeing bro this guy would never be a star so and i'm happy about this because you know i'm happy because this guy right here don't deserve to even smear any commercial sources like joshua d because he's a piece of shit somebody that mocks people's mom who have disability he mocked joshua's mother's blindness he said, oh, I'm going to knock it somehow. And you know, see, be able to see, see him. Well, what happened? He quit in that fight. Jojo's mom got a uh, get back. And she even advised him then to, um, to, uh, to learn from that. To learn not to be insulting and stuff like that. And it's funny how Frank Warren was there laughing out, laughing out and stuff like that. But I, I think Frank Quarren inside right now be burning in himself and saying, ah, this guy's profile should be up right now. But yet not. <laughs> Nobody's, people are not looking forward to a Dubois nest post or stuff. They're only looking for a Dubois nest fight against killers. Martin Bacoli is there right now. I believe Martin Bacoli beats Dubois and he will make it quit again like he did inspired I believe Ajit Kabayere would do a damage on Dubois I believe Joseph Parker would add boss Dubois I just think Dubois reign would be very short you can I don't I didn't I didn't see anything in that Joshua fight that would make me say oh this guy right here he overcame this Dubois is yet to overcome adversity bro in a fight every fight He's been put, he's been put a, a huge hit on. He's always quit. Like, when the, he gets off, he quit. One thing about Joshua that everybody can testify to is that he never quit. Against Ruiz, he got up three times or so. Against Dubois, four times he got up. Even when, after he got his score knocked out, he was still trying to get up. What that shows to me is that Joshua... He's a warrior through and through. And let's not forget. 
Ben Davison in round four, at the end of round four, gave him one advice saying he should let basically let everything out. I think that was a wrong strategy. Of course, Joshua at that time just wanted to get the fight done. And he heard the ball. And he tried to stop him. But the reverse was the case. Though from the even before the fight, Joshua like you can just tell. Ten seconds in the fight, you knew this was gonna be a loss for Joshua because Joshua was fighting like an amateur. His hands down and everything, man. He's just still disappointed. I'm still very much thinking, how did, how, how? I don't get it. Is it the juju that Dubois that did that made Joshua confused like that? Because if everything went well in camp, what's going on, bro? I don't understand this right here. Anyways, let's get around here, Tar Jagway. Tar Jagway. We have to still talk about this fight because we, we are yet to even talk about it. Um. Uh, Yeah, it's just um, a diaper. I'm, I'm, I'm here, bro. I'm here. Uh, let's see your take on this, bro. Thank you, bro. Thank you. Always good. Uh, yeah, we have to talk about the fight, man. Um, to in means of 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 Daniel Dubois, it's more like people. I know people are still unsure about him you know, regardless of the outcome of the fight, because he does, he has quit in the past twice already. You know, Martin Bocoli also said he's quit when he fought him. You know, there's just too many rumors of him just saying, just calling it quits. You know, might just be trying to do it for his dad. You know, we don't know. Daniel Dubois, as we know, might even be uh, self-destructing. And the way he's self-destructing is, you know, he's he's trying to trying to become more of a loud mouth, you know, just saying things randomly. All those things, we never know, you know, you know. It all it all depends on 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 what the future holds for him and where we if we're going to be able to see what he does, you know. As of right now. His dad does control his career, which is, I think, which is a sad story state of affairs, if if that's the case. Then Dubois, I, I doubt he's going to ever reach the pinnacle of Anthony Joshua, regardless. There's killers that he has to get through. And, man, if we look at his career thus far, I doubt he has faced as much killers as Anthony Joshua, because if he did, it'll be, it'll, it'll, he'll see how hard it is to try and keep the belt. Man, let me tell you something. When AJ had that belt, IBF has been the one to try to, they've been the one setting everything in motion, right? Setting the wheels of fate in motion for AJ because they were the first person to call for a mandatory, you know, just trying to keep those belts in line is a lot they don't understand though especially the heavyweight division it's been a constant f- it's been a constant wheel of of continuous movement not like the other lower lower weight classes where you don't really see them fighting mandatories that left and right left and right man let's be honest here man when aj had all the belts he was fighting left and right and that to think about it that's a lot that is a lot to burden on his shoulders because you got to train, keep, do, do some, you know, training, do some um, media, media coverage. A lot goes into that, you know, just trying to build up your reputation. That is a lot to hold, you know, and you sometimes you won't be able to do all of that, you know, and on top of that, these, the IBF and WBO, WBA, they, they're all calling from the, um, mandatory, you know, and that's a lot, especially in the heavyweight division. It's always moving. It's not, let's say, the fight is going to take two, three months off, and he's going to be. You no, know, it's continuously moving. Who's going to? Who's he going to fight next? Who's he going to fight next? And I remember when we talked about it, I be uh, about eight years ago when the IBF were, were going to strip AJ if he wasn't going to fight Usyk. 
you know, prior to Usyk coming up, you know, and AJ's been fighting killers after killers, fighters after fighters, at, like nonstop, nonstop. Yeah, that's a big burden. That, that weighs a lot on your shoulders. Hey, then I doubt Daniel Dubois could do the same, man. He hasn't faced killers like uh, 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 a Klitschko, right? He hasn't faced fighters like Parker. He hasn't faced fighters like Andrew Ruiz. He hasn't faced fighters like, like uh, um, 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 what's this guy's name? Uh, uh, Otto Wallin, you know, like, like, or, or like a, a bunch of uh, two, two, three named fighters I haven't really named, you know, just based off of of, of skill set. Even a fighter, even, even a fighter like uh, Povetkin, even the Povetkin's retired now, but like a fighter of that oh, stature, of that manner. Oh yeah, Povetkin was still very much dangerous, man. That guy was still very much dangerous, you know. And and Povetkin, when he fought AJ, he must have been like thirty seven, thirty eight, you know. The guy was still very much dangerous, you know. There's a whole bunch of these fighters that Dubai was never hasn't even get to, and he he already quit against Joe Joyce. He already quit against um 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 um. um Uh, Usyk, right? And the the I believe who do you fight to? There's another for the Larena, is it he Larena fought that dropped him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, regardless, they said he was he was injured, you know. But let's just say for for all fact he was injured. Okay, you know. But he he thought about it, and on top of that, you know, the fight with uh, uh um um. Uh, Philip Rogovich, people were saying Philip, he was headbutting Philip all day long, you know, this and that, you know, like, let, let's be honest, man. Like, if he would have fought his money kill as that, that guy would have had a lot more L's on his record. Right now, his, his record is padded, right? And uh, prior to fighting AJ, regardless what anybody says, yeah, I, I'm, I, yeah, I'm gonna first be admit, yeah, I was wrong. AJ did, yes, AJ lost that fight, but how did AJ lose this fight, okay? I don't want to, I don't, I, 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 that's for me to get into later on when we talk about uh, the, the situation with the fight. But for me, it's how he, he was able to beat AJ, okay? It was something that was handed to him, regardless of how he won. He won, he won. Yeah, big props to him, but I'm still not sold on him. He still got to get through those killers, He still got to get through those killers. Right now, the heavyweight division is are are the ones that AJ fought are clearly on their way out and they're aging out. Okay, I hardly see any of them in there. You know, I'm not sold on Martin Bacoli yet. Okay, but you are. We all saw what happened to to uh, Big Baby Jared Anderson. I already knew what was going to happen to him when he started crying, when he started saying uh, it, he's 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 ready. He just started his career. He was talking about retiring. He was started when he started crying in front of Roy George Jr. I said to myself, "This guy's not ready. This guy ain't, this guy is not it." On to the next one. Don't worry, we'll give these other guys up and coming. Right now, the heavyweight division, these other heavyweights, they went through their battles. Now they're trying to get each other in the ring, okay? Wilder, gone, halfway gone. AJ, Tyson Fury, Usyk. Those are the current kings of the heavyweight division, okay? Those are the current kings, and they're almost retired. We got to enjoy them while they last. As of right now, Dubois has nothing that he's, he could offer me, absolutely nothing. Okay, ninety-eight thousand were packed in towards that fight. Um, so how does Dubois become a star? You know, if he doesn't become a star from this huge win, how does he become a star then? If he's not, if he can become a star, because he's not a star, bro. Commercial success is not there. I'm not seeing it, bro. No, I'm not seeing sponsors. When Joshua became a, a, a like when he defeated uh, Klitschko, his commercial success was like boom, it flew from there. We're not seeing that from Dubois. In fact, even before Joshua did that, 
And um, yeah, I would like it. I would like your take on that, bro. Try to reach success takes a lot, man. Listen, you cannot lie. These 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 um these brand look for specifics, right? If this guy Frank Warren hasn't built Dubai up to do what he has to do, he's not gonna get it. Even Tyson Fury, even Tyson Fury doesn't even have major backings of brands and Tyson Fury is who he is Usyk doesn't have the backings of the brands and that guy is the current heavyweight champion of the world Dubois is not going to come close to any major sponsors bro. let's be honest he ain't got the looks he ain't got the charisma he ain't got the machismo Okay, he doesn't have anything other than a, a decent boxing. I'm not. I'm not. I don't want to sound like I'm hating on Dubai, but it's just I'm just speaking facts, man. It's like he looks like he's forcing himself to speak out. He's forcing himself that doesn't come natural to me. AJ's at AJ. A, 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 what you see in AJ is what you get. The guy, you know, the guy doesn't really talk much, but hey, the guy when he talks, people like to listen to him. Right, and that's 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 who he who he is. He's got the looks. He's got the charisma. Right, and he's bro, got bro, the bro, bro, Hold on, they, can you believe that Joshua Joshua uh, uh, comment? Huh? Has more likes than Dubai recent post. Has more like the comment. Has more is there's more comments on Joshua last latest uh, post on Instagram than Joshua uh, than. Uh, than Dubois' the last uh, uh, post. Hmm. That's crazy, man. I don't know. I, I, it, <laughs> man, listen. Let's be honest, man. AJ sold out that arena, man. Everybody enjoys AJ. Everybody was looking at his up and up. You know, the, the guy was coming in. The guys were looking good. We won't forget what he did to Francis Ngannou, right? What Tyson Fury couldn't do. Regardless, regardless. I I was the one who said I didn't I didn't I don't want those guys fighting anyways. I'm I'm still a firm believer I till this day I, I I I don't want those guys fighting. Right? They supported each other. Why do they have to fight each other? Okay? It is what it is. It, to me personally, I would have told AJ, hey, man, let that go. Build yourself up again. Fight somebody who's going to prepare you. Not somebody you know is not even a barely a boxer. You could just say Tyson Fury probably wasn't even prepared. You could just, he could have just been on the sideline rooting for his, uh, for his brother. When they offered him that fight, he was like, nah, man, let, let, I'm going to stay away from that fight. Give me somebody else. Simple as that, bro. Even if it's for like to build yourself up continuously, just to pad your record, it is what it is, right? But AJ, people want to see him, regardless of his loss. People will still come to see him because it's just that thing, man. Listen, this performance that he had over the weekend, people don't know. People just don't know. Like I've seen this guy do better. I've seen him fight better. What? What the hell was this this weekend? It's a question mark on AJ's head, and people want to find out what 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 that question mark is. Is he really done? Is AJ really done? They want to find out. That's why they keep coming back. All of a sudden, he's looking good. Man, I don't think this guy's finished. I got to come back again to see if he's really done. I, I have to see it through. I grew up with Anthony Joshua. I grew up watching him. We, I grew up looking at him shredding those pads, big, big uh, giving him big ups, saying, "Yeah, man, that's the next guy right there." I, we gotta see it through. We gotta see where the where the end of his career goes. We gotta see it through. That's why they keep coming back, and they don't want to admit it. They don't. 
Yeah, man. Like Du Bois says, Joshua is a king, so he's he now the king slayer, but the king uh, will rise again. Um, but um, until then, let's see what Du Bois does. You know, you know. So it's gonna be interesting. Uh, State formation by Red Girl. God bless you. All.